that specifically talk about earthquakes and I say, okay, I'm putting these things together now from multiple prophets yeah. who are talking about the earth shaking, the mountains yeah. moving. Yeah. This must be an earthquake maybe, right? That's one interpretation. And so it, it's you, possible. You, you, no it's possible, right? Yeah. And so that's just, what I you, talk you, about you, in my book. You use the word twice. You use the word twice, maybe. Maybe, exactly. Yeah. For exactly. us to say maybe, when it comes to the, the revelation... No, 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 not to the revelation, okay. but to the understanding of what it means in yeah. the natural world, in the scientific okay. world, right? Yeah. yeah. No, no, we have 100% faith in the scriptures, right? Yes. What we doubt is we doubt our interpretation of those scriptures. Yes. Right? So we, we would say, unless you have certainty uh, uh, that this is what Allah said, this is what the Prophet Muhammad right. said, then the person should... Well, we know refrain. what he said, yeah. but we don't always know what was meant. Yes. Right? Yes. And so yes. my book just proposes a, okay. an idea of what was meant. Okay. Right? So, so. that maybe these signs yeah. are talking about earthquakes, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe they're talking about volcanoes, Yeah. right? Because I'm a geologist. I'm uh, hearing that. It's possible. Yeah. It may not be true, okay. right? But if we keep aware of it uh, and yeah. we think about it, Maybe when we see that volcano go off, yeah. we'll give praise to the Creator because we're like, He talked about it beforehand. He knew it was coming. He told us about it, right? I'm trying to think. There's a verse in Surah to Yunus. Yeah. It mentions, if I, if I can find the verse, if you don't mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, please. It's not to discredit what you're saying, it's just, um, so this is the Quran, as you know. Yep. This is a very nice copy of it. Alhamdulillah, chapter 10, uh, Yunus, or as Jonah, as I think you're aware. Yep. Bear with me. Okay. It mentions in, so this is ayat number 36. So it's, it's very common when you, people use the word verse, but ayat actually means a, a, a sign. Yeah, a sign. So, uh, Allah mentions, Inna dhanna la yugni min al haqqi shay'a. Oh, sorry. Wa ma yatabi'u akhtharuhum illa dhan. The, most of the people, most of them, they do not follow except uh, conjecture, things which are not certain. Right. And then it mentions, that verily conjecture, it doesn't, yugni, uh, it doesn't carry any weight or it doesn't carry any value when it comes to the, the truth. To the deen. Yes. yes. Well, the truth. So, yeah, right. what you're saying is, I don't. I can't say it's wrong, but we wouldn't use it for the Quran. I, I think there, there are Muslims who have gone down this way, and sometimes it, it can cause uh, the least to say like egg on the face. They'll say this verse means this, and then yeah. scientific knowledge may may change. Yes, absolutely. And then, I'm a scientist. I very well know that. So yeah, yes, yeah, so, which is which is fine in terms yeah. of science, but if a person said that this verse meant this, and then scientific knowledge changes. Yes. The, the question becomes, oh, your Quran got it wrong. But really, yes, is, yeah. No, that's not what you want, right? That, that's not what you want, and that's not the reality, right. but it's the person's. So I think that's the problem with science and um, interpretation. Yes, that, that is that. It's a very. It's, you've hit on a very dangerous thing, right? Yes. We have to be very aware of that, yeah. I agree. Yeah. Right? And my book, what it's talking about is not so much like speculation, okay. right? It's talking about the fact that these signs could be natural. They yeah. could happen in the natural world. And the oh, don't reason... do life. Don't do life. Actually, don't do life. Is that life? No, don't do life. The reason. Yeah. The reason they could be natural. Yeah. How much of the world believes there is no creator? How much of the world believes that? In evolution, right? I think. And, I, and I, how I, could you believe in evolution? Evolution, yeah. its foundation, the foundation of evolution. I'm speaking as a geologist. Yeah. Is the idea that you have enough time for things to evolve, 
Okay. And so as a geologist, in order to give the world enough time, yeah. you have to assume that geologic events are very, very slow, right? One layer gradually laid down on another year after year, millions of years, right? Okay. But, I, but what God does question, in the yeah. final signs before yeah. he comes back, before before sending Esau and back, right? Yeah. What God does is he destroys that foundation. Okay. okay. And he says, no, geologic happen, events happen rapidly. The Quran says the mountains move away. Not that they erode slowly over millions of years, but they move away. That's talking about a massive tectonic event, right? No. So God is saying, it I, could I, be. It could be talking about a massive tectonic yeah. event, but which I, only I, Allah has power over. I, right? I, would, I would say any verse, we would go back to the likes of Ibn Kathir and stuff like this. You've heard of Ibn Kathir? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we would look, mm -hmm. I mean, someone may say, but uh, scientific knowledge has advanced, but we would look back to what they said, how the companions understood fine. it. Which yeah. is fine, yeah. because oftentimes in yeah. God's revealed word, yeah. there is a, a symbolic, a spiritual understanding as well as a literal, physical understanding. Uh, no, that's, that's, what happens is, how do you know that? How do you know that that's not the case? I'll tell you. Because, okay. I, will because tell you, I believe that that's the case. From, from the dangers of that is that a person can say, this verse means this to, uh, to that which is apparent. Mm -hmm. But then when you go behind it, it has a separate meaning. And we would, we would say, when you look at the, the history of Islam, when you look at groups like, right. they were called the Bataniya, or many of the, the Shia, many of the, the, the Sufiya, this is what caused them to go astray. You have a verse, it has a very clear meaning, and they will say, yes, we accept the meaning, but there's a meaning behind it, which only our spiritual leaders know, or we, we have a hidden knowledge which was inherited, and it wasn't public. So I would say all of these are red flags, if you want to use that term. But what do you actually believe, if you don't mind me asking? How many... I believe in the one true God. Okay, you believe okay. in the one true God. Yep. So, how many atheists do you think that there were outside of Noah's Ark? When, when, when Noah was riding safely on the waves, being preserved by God, and the people outside, how many people do you think were saying, no, nah, there's really not a God? No, no, you mean at that time? At that time, yeah. So, you, see, think, see. you think that there were people going, ah, we got it wrong, there is a God, and He has power over creation. Let me respond to you. Because I know you've, um, Alhamdulillah, you've read into Islam, you had conversation with many Muslims. And I've read in Al-Aqsa as well, so. Okay, Alhamdulillah. But, atheism, to deny the existence of a creator. From what we understand, this is quite, this is quite a new idea, or it's, it's increased a lot in the, in right. the, maybe what, the last, last hundred, two hundred years. Yeah, yeah. hundred years. And it's more of a European idea which has spread. Very much so. Whereas you won't find it so much in, in Africa or Asia or more, I don't know what you would, you would describe. But anyway, not European. Places that don't believe in God anyway. But, right. but when you go back in time, when you look in the Quran, it's, 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 it's quite interesting. The subject of atheism, of denying a God, is, is touched on, is refuted, but it's not given so much attention. Right. The, the main thing in the Quran is idol worship. So those people, right. we would say in the time of Nuh alayhi salam, in the time of Noah, uh, the time of Musa alayhi salam, Moses, etc. Yep. They believed in one all-powerful God. Yep. And but, you know why it's idol worship, right? It doesn't touch me, on atheism, me, because atheism is idol worship. Let me, let me finish. Right? Let me finish you yeah. would agree with that, right? I will come to it, yeah. But, so, we wouldn't say that the people in the time of Nuh السلام, were atheists. Rather, I think you're aware, like, um, in the chapter of Quran about, let me just recall it, if you don't mind, about Noah. No. Uh, it was a faithless, unbelieving generation, right? No. They denied God either has power or his existence. Either way. No, no, no. Either no, way. No, no. It doesn't matter. You deny he has power, you deny oh, his existence. They're disbelievers. The the they're disbelievers, the hellfire it's forever. It's the same thing at the end of the day. But so look. Um, so Nuh alayhi salam, Noah said, Rabbi, innuhum asawni wa tabi'u ma lam yazidhu ma luhu wa waladuhu illa khasada. So Noah, he complained to God, Oh my Lord, 
Verily, they have disobeyed me. And they have followed those people who follow in them, it will not increase them, their, their wealth, their children. Right. It won't increase them in except, in except in loss. But anyway, this is, this is uh, so the, the verse after this says, Palu. So the, the people of Noah said, the people of the Noah were sent to, he said, do not leave your gods. Do not leave what? These were, I don't know if you're aware, Ibn Abbas, the cousin of the Prophet ﷺ, and he's considered the, the Prophet ﷺ made dua for him that Allah gives him the understanding of the Quran. So usually when something is authentically from Ibn Abbas, explanation of the Quran, it stops there. So he mentioned in the, the time of Noah, people from the time of Adam until the time of Noah, the people were upon one way. They believed in one God, they worshipped one God alone, they didn't make any partners with God, there wasn't any such thing as an atheist. Then there was five uh, righteous men who are mentioned here. Uh, Wad, Su'a, Yughath, Yu'uq and Nasra. These five pious men who they passed away. The devil, the devil came to them, to the people and said, why, do, why don't you make statues of these people in order to inspire you to do good deeds? So the people, they, they done this with the, with the intent of we will only worship God, we worship God directly. But by looking at these people or these statues, it will make us remember their righteousness and it will inspire us. Yeah. Generation, generations later, as uh, knowledge uh, decreased or people became ignorant, then uh, the devil inspired them saying, your, your ancestors, they would, they would not worship God directly because God is so pure. By we're, degrees, we're, we're so all they're sinful. turned off the path yeah. by degrees. Yeah, so yeah. if you wish to worship God, you must take these as intercessors. Yeah. So, the, so we wouldn't say that those people were atheists. And, and that, when I say atheist, I'm we're talking about I, the broad sense of the word. Not someone who denies the existence of a God, like, right, but someone who is a disbeliever. Okay? Because in essence, all atheists, all disbelievers are atheists, right? They either don't believe in God, that he exists, or they don't believe he has enough power to not from correct Islam, their not, behavior. Not from an Islamic point of view. Not from Islamic I'm, I'm talking about in, in, a, in, a, in any point of view, in a, in a logical way, right? No. If you deny that God has power, that's yeah. no different than denying he exists. No, no, no. The, these, uh, the Quran is very clear. Right? You don't mind again because it's, it's better the quran is very clear um it's the same chapter sort of Yunus, chapter 10. Uh, uh, this is uh ayat number 31 it mentions kul so this is in the time of the Prophet where Allah said to the Prophet if you ask who is the one who provides from the heavens and from the earth who is the one who owns the, the seeing and the hearing who is the one who brings the living out from the dead and brings the dead out from the living and who is the one who orchestrates and controls all the affairs, affairs they would say Allah then Allah says, Afala tatakun. Uh, sorry, Fakul Afala tatakun. Then say to them, Will you not fear Allah? Meaning, if you believe that God is all powerful, the giver of life, the giver of death, the sustainer, why worship Him directly? So that's the, that's the main point. I know there is atheism, but I'm saying in the time of, of Noah, we don't understand they were atheists in the in the modern definition. I, I, I meant term. it in a broader sense than yes. just someone who denies okay. that God exists. Anyone who denies his power, anyone who yeah. you know, says he can't control nature, right? There's no one that is, yeah. you know, before that they had a little bit of an excuse, right? Before the flood they could say, well, you know, it's never rained before or whatever, you know, their excuse was, yeah. you know, so, you know, this really isn't going to happen. Why should we believe this crazy madman, right? 
But when the flood came, when the rain started yeah. coming and the water started rising, there was no one that could deny the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, right? No one could deny his power. No. And so all I'm saying I, I is did, at the I, end, yeah, I, dis at the I end, disagree. At the end, because yeah. evolution is such a big deal, because yeah. there are so many people that believe in it, yes. the signs that are coming yeah. are geologic in nature, yeah. right? In order. London. London the signs that are coming are geologic in nature in order to tell people, look, I do have power over what I created. And they will have no choice but to go, you're right, we do. We're still not going to follow you, but you do have power, but we're not going to follow you, right? Those are the truly unrepentant, the truly deceived, the truly, right? I but disagree. at some point, yeah. at some point, yeah. this theory of evolution is going to have to be destroyed. Okay, God's going to say, no, 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 enough of this silliness. Um, see, I do have power. See, the thing and is, he's going to show it by demonstration. And that's what these verses from the Quran talk about. At Tur 52.10, Al Qaf 18.47, okay? According to, according, according, to, according, to, uh, according to your and interpretation. Two, seven, and four. Yes, it is one, 74. It is one, one possibility. Yeah. One possibility. And I acknowledge that. Yeah. Okay? But it's an impossibility that we should probably be aware of, right? Uh, because if no. mountains are going to be, if mountains are going to be yeah. moving, I don't want to yeah. be in the path of that mountain. I don't want to be where those earthquakes are going to be happening, right? Um, I don't want to be caught no, up in of, that. Of course, but I would say because that, how many that's, people die in that, right? Yes, but that's, I would rather be believing in God and trusting uh, in these signs, yeah. and trusting that He's going to send them where He's going to send them, and move somewhere else. I, I, I still disagree with you. That's I, fine. That's fine. Yeah. I still you disagree. Have every right to do that. No, the, the idea so. that we, I don't want to be involved in the earthquake. I agree. No, no one would want to be, or a landslide, or, or right. any natural disaster right. fr from God. So that's what my book, Revelations Geology, is about. It talks about where some of these signs are going yeah. to occur, yeah. so that we can avoid them. Because when you put the Quran together with the previous scriptures yeah. and look at the science, there's geologic clues. Okay, clues. Nothing hard and fast. But yes. Clues that are interpretive. Yes. Yes. Right. Yeah. But it's a hypothesis. Yeah. So if there's an idea, a possibility, let's say, yeah. that London was going to get nuked yeah. by, you know, yeah. let's say Russia tomorrow, would you want to be in London tomorrow? Uh, no, You'd want to leave, right? Of course not. So if there's a possibility that Quran speaks about mountains moving, you wouldn't want to be where those mountains are moving. That's all. That's all. Okay. Just a, and, and it's, I, I, it's because God is showing His power to the world that He did create and He does have power over the rocks. And it's the rocks way of crying back out that there is a Creator. Uh, I, dis I disagree you with, with the that. whole approach. So, yeah. you can disagree, that's fine. Yes, yes, so, yes. think about it. But, the signs are coming. We both know, you know, Jesus is coming back very soon. He's on the sea. He's coming back. Yep. But how do, you, how do you understand He's coming back? Like, what do you think He's coming back for? What is coming back for? Like uh, he's coming back to rescue people. Do, uh, no, right? do you believe you believe God is one? You don't believe in the Trinity. No. You don't believe Jesus is God. No. Okay. Do you believe that after Jesus, approximately 600 years, another messenger was sent, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and he's How the final else messenger? How do you think I've been able to go into mosques and pray with him and do salah? Okay. Then you have to. Uh, understand that in some form or another. I might not agree with it in the same form you do. Oh, it, it, it doesn't matter if you agree in it in the same form I do, but do no. you agree with it in the same form the Quran and the Sunnah agrees, agrees with it? Quran, it. yes. Uh, sunnah, no. Okay. Sunnah, I look at as historical evidence. So. Okay. But I think that's another talk for another day. I'm sure I'll be back around. So. Okay, no problem. Yeah. If you want to leave you it said, there, thank you very yeah. much. It's a pleasure talking to you. you, too, you okay, all you. the best. Alhamdulillah. Um, Alhamdulillah, usually I don't like to do conclusions. Uh, the gentleman was polite, but I think he wanted to avoid the issue of what is the correct belief concerning the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. As for his uh, scientific points and saying that the Quran could possibly mean this, Alhamdulillah, as Muslims, we're not in need of the Quran could possibly mean this. We have the Quran explained by the Quran, the Quran explained by the Sunnah, the Quran explained by the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and the Quran explained by the Arabic language, which has been presented to us from the ulama. And this is sufficient for us, and anything other than this, we're not in need of. So, 
الحمد لله